but next time, Sam Hemelstein. Hi. So I want to tell you a little bit about what's going on in the case. Um, the Empire State Building has filed papers with the court in which they say, well, there's no dispute here. Uh, Pacifica owes the money. They signed a contract in 2005. We don't even have to have a trial. We should just enter a judgment for all the money they owe. So we've gotten word from the judge, who is a gentleman named Gerald Leibovitz, who I've known for years and is a very smart and compassionate man, um, that he is probably going to schedule what's called oral argument in the not-too-distant future. Um, as a tenant lawyer, I've always understood that legal battles don't just get fought on the legal front. They get fought on the political front, on the social front, on the economic front. And what I want to tell you is I think what you are doing and what the elected officials have done has already had an impact on the case. Because we had a settlement meeting with the Empire State Building in May. And we made what we thought was a very significant settlement proposal. And what we were answered with was nothing. We have no counteroffer for you. Um, then uh, Friday before last, I believe, a letter was delivered to the Empire State Building signed by a number of elected officials urging them to settle and come back to the table. That afternoon, I got a call from their lawyer saying that they would like to schedule another settlement conference, okay? I don't think that was a coincidence. Um, and when we do get word of uh, this oral argument, I think it would be a very good idea if two or three times as many people yes. are here yes. Yes. go to 80 Center Street and have a little picket line outside yes. the courthouse yes. so that everybody, that the Empire State Building and everybody else involved knows that this is not something that, this is something that the whole city is watching. So thank you all.